Okay, so what I'm going to show is basically how you can use um, Rancher with Hitzner's cloud. So Hitzner, they're like a cloud offering where instead of renting the server month to month, you can rent servers for a few minutes or a few hours or you can rent it also for a month and you, you can do this on demand and spin up and destroy servers as you need to. So I'm going to go like on my Rancher first to the admin machine drivers. And then just choose, you'll see there's all sorts of drivers you can use, like you can do the same with Amazon instances or whatever. Probably uh, you use that French thing uh, before, it's in um, OVH. OVH, I think they have a driver as well somewhere. But anyway, for us what's interesting is there's a Hitzner driver for the new Hitzner cloud um, system. You basically activate that and that allows you to then um, deploy machines via the Hetzna API. And then you go to your, um, to your environment and you configure in your environment that you want to uh, manage infrastructure on Hetzna as well. So, um, uh, just gonna come to here. Um, and uh, let's see, so I'm gonna say add host here. Now instead of adding a normal, like the normal way would be to use the, um, the cattle driver and you go on your server and you paste this line onto the, yes. onto the server to register it as a, um, as a client, as a, a rancher client. Um, but in this approach, we're rather gonna choose Hetzner here. It's gonna ask for the API token from Hetzner. So you go to your Hetzner cloud I'm gonna create a new project for this called demo to match the environment that I have. Um, and in that demo project, I'm gonna go and uh, generate an API key. So, um, when you take that, when you get that key, you're gonna copy it and um, put it into here. And now Rancher is um, authorized to provision servers on, uh, on that Hetzner um, cloud. So I can say like, okay, I want to spin up uh, um, just you can give them a prefix. Um, And then say I want to spin up like two servers like that and say which server, which um, data center I want to do it on and what site type of machine I want to spin up. Um, and I can give any labels or anything, all the normal stuff on Rancher. And it's going to install Ubuntu on that machine and then provision it with the Rancher client. So I don't have to go and like log into the machine anymore. Um, so you see it's uh, provisioning those two machines and if I look in my um, uh, on my service here just got to give it a few seconds to, to provision it you can see now the two machines are being created it's copying from the base the standard Ubuntu base image and uh, installing the client on it um, and then they're up and you go back to your rancher. So it's waiting for the machine to boot now. And then uh, since what is installing Ubuntu. I think I found a bug with my scaling of OSM reporter. So the part of the demo where I would like to say scale it into many nodes probably not going to work properly because I think it provisions them all onto the same server. But um, yeah, it's installing Docker. Those machines are just sitting nicely. You could look on, uh, on these machines and see what's actually happening here. Um, 
I forget uh, to get the password. I think I remember how to get the password for there. Basically, you don't even need to know the password of your own machine. Um, I think you need to log in with your SSH key first to set the password. Um, okay, and then I think it's more or less ready to go. And then you should see when you're like going to uh, your stack and you want to deploy it, you can deploy it across all these nodes. And then if you, what it doesn't do yet is it doesn't scale, um, like doesn't provision nodes when you scale. So if you, normally you can come into here and say scale it. And it should, spread it across the machines. What I don't think it does yet is like actually when you scale provision new machines, which would be nice. Um, and if you go back to your, like I said, there's a bug in my script. I think it's not um, deploying across multiple servers. You can see there it's now those machines are online. All just uh, from managed from like just a few clicks. You don't have to log into any servers to do anything. Um, just brings everything up for you. So that's what I was uh, discovered. <laughs> yeah, nice. So uh, now you can go in and install, uh, do your, your stack inside the server. Yeah, so now you can go like, so for, for um, the QGIS um, maps.cartoza.com, for example, um, uh, admire, we should be actually doing this way rather we can then just manage the servers from, from the cloud instead of as um, CX machines. I think I will be starting to move all the machines over into, into Hetzner Cloud, because this together with what um, Dimas and I were working on to, to provision the machines and everything, I mean that we can just dynamically allocate machines and remove them. We should never even care like what's, on, what's going on in the machine. If it's not behaving nicely, we should just spin it down spin up a new one in this place. Okay. So, yeah. Um, 